Made the head of horses on our way to the Goa Akron. That's the only fun we have had, we are going to have since we came on this. It's been non stop movement and preaching. My body is aching. Yesterday we'll have to go to one of the valleys, deep valleys over here to go and do evangelism at the waterfall. Climbing back was like, wow. I woke up this morning, my body is aching, my muscles are aching because having climbed for only God knows. We're doing everything we can. We may never come this way again. We may never. We may never come here and evangelize again. So wherever can city we get to, we try to explore a little bit. Take as much pictures. Now we have modern technology. So in case in the near future we have to write books, we cannot just talk about the experiences we have. But at least there can be pictures, there can be videos that can give more insight toward the Lord. It will pass and through and will pass. So these are the guys. This is Brother Christian. Hello. And then Michael. Michael is coming, Pastor Gordon and Ash Ashley. <laughs> Just a little bit break, and then we are in the town again, calling people to repentance. <laughs> calling people to repentance has become a war. Satan has chains around people, mind, soul, spirit, and body. And no matter how you tell them God loves them, there is a strong resistance. But the more you explain God to them, they realize they are ignorant. You ask them some few questions about creation, inventions, and things, and they begin to realize how foolish they have been. But that's not the purpose. The purpose is not to make people look otherwise, but just for them to wake up to the truth of the gospel. Thank God. Be careful it doesn't snuff something to you. They taste before they... They, they, they taste before they... Michael is going the closest he can. Okay, so this group of horses came through the road, so we have to stop and enjoy their company a little bit more. And we'll continue. These animals are not giving us problems. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Animals are not giving us problems. We tell human beings God loves them and say, no, there is no God. If there is God, why did but I've never heard anybody say there is no Satan. If there is Satan, why am I sick? Why am I not sick? They blame things that God didn't do on God. The last person they will actually talk about is the devil. Everybody is blaming God. <laughs> Everybody is blaming God for their calamity. Their uncle who died, their auntie who died, their sister who died, their daughter or son who died. 
sicknesses and everything. They blame it on a good God. They blame all kinds of things, sicknesses, diseases, catastrophes on a good God who has given them free sunshine. We love you. Yes. It's time to go.